investigators say they've unidentified women's injuries are consistent with an assault. At this point, it's not clear if she was killed at the park or if her body was left there. folks how you doing welcome back it's Charlie oh my goodness it is uh what time is it holy cow it is Wednesday evening November 25th it is 8 20 in the evening I just got off work blah blah uh, and I am off tomorrow we're all off tomorrow Target is closed tomorrow so we could have our uh, little get together. Well, if you want to call it, it came down to no more than three people. Uh, the gatherings cannot last more than two and a half hours. Uh, it has to be outside, six feet apart, no singing. Uh, you. In between bites, after you're done taking it up, you must put your mask. Ooh, that's gonna be for really disgusting eating habits. What if you're eating corn on the cob, all buttery and... Anyway, that is what 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 is uh, the thing. <clears throat> no outdoor dining. Uh, Wednesday from 10 p.m. Starting tonight from 10 p.m to 5 or 6 a.m. the next day every night from here through December 21st I believe something like for for a whole month and it might even go back because our, our numbers have jumped tremendously uh, actually within the past couple days our numbers have somehow jumped into the thousands so <sighs> But that's only cases. Uh, as of lately, for the past couple of weeks, people have been lying around uh, urgent cares, uh, doctor facilities to get uh, tested so they can have a permission uh, to be able to leave or go whatever. So basically, oh look, hey, I tested clean. I'm not, I'm not contaminated. I'm not, I'm not viral, so I can go and uh, do it. At this point. We are 11 twelfths almost over with the year. So, oh goodness. People know better, but you know, this is uh, frustration and uh, don't stop. Uh, people just had enough. So uh, I pretty much expect that the same thing will happen around Christmas time. And if you look at the airport, the airport radar, there are so many airplanes in the air right now. That is just inconceivable. I mean, I think they said if you're coming, they will notice that if you're coming from California, uh, hotels and motels and places like that, they will pretty much uh, make you quarantine. Uh, so, honestly, I. I know, I know, we should be, we should be, but really, honestly, in the same breath, I, 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 I couldn't begrudge anyone. I, I pull your pants down and slide on the ice, I guess, in, in, in this situation, maybe the last gathering, the last Thanksgiving, uh, last Christmas. You never know, but we'll see. 
All right, uh, I am, uh, I'm, I'm, well, I'm gonna try and get an Uber, but I'm probably gonna walk home, I hope not. That little thing in the morning, uh, I will give you a quick, Monday evening, I worked Monday uh, 12 to 8 p.m. Uh, and I, I got off at, at 8 p.m. One of my friends uh, said, Charlie, hey, what are you doing? Uh, did you get a ride? And I said, no. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you a ride. Okay. Give me a ride, save me a couple hours, you know. <clears throat> I didn't have any uh, any money for Uber. So I was, you know, I was planning on walking, of course. The next morning on the news, as you saw at that park that I walked through or sometimes walked by, depending on how, how cold it is, I never had a problem there either. You know, it's, it's a nice park, people, People walk through their, you know, at all hours. The dogs, they just walk through and joggers, you know, it's a very popular park. Well, come to find out, uh, Monday evening between 6 p.m., between Monday 6 p.m. and Tuesday morning 6 a.m., a, uh, another jogger runner going through the park found a 30-something-year-old woman's uh, body, uh, in the southeastern most part of the, the park, right right through where I walk. Well, in fact, right right in that area where that one video that I did, crossing that cute little bridge and uh, over by uh, Devil's Gate. So, uh, yeah. That was... Um... Now, you've heard me talk about this in the past. You know, I, I always take little things as a sign that I'm not ready or I shouldn't have gotten it or I should or... Just, just things, and I always, I've learned not to be upset if it doesn't happen for me. If there's no fulfillment of what it is that I want to do or buy or uh, accomplish things in life or whatever, I take it as a sign. Uh, I'm not, I'm not super religious. I'm just, I'm faithful. I'm, uh, I have faith, you know. I call it luck, call it intuition, call, whatever. I, I, I kind of said it's. It's, uh, it's heaven, heaven watching out for me. And I said, oh, well, you know, my friend's uh, intuition must have kicked in and probably just offered me a ride out of the blue. Just, I don't know. Whatever it was, it was a godsend. But that's what that was. Uh, who knows? Yeah. But right there where I walk, a 30-year-old woman was uh, murdered. And the police, all they have said that it was foul play they're not sure if she was murdered there or if her body was dumped there so yeah, yeah. just uh just being looked at after all right, anyway, my friends, I am going to try and walk down the street so I can get, hopefully, an Uber. Another sweet angel bought me a card here. So uh, I'm going to do that. Right now, they're kind of great, crazy and expensive. So if not, push comes to shove, I, I got to walk home. So, But I'm going to try to uh, get an Uber first, I promise. All right, my friends, I will post this once I get home, if not in the morning. Uh, it's almost 8.30, and it'll take me two hours if I get unlucky enough to walk. All right, my friends, you folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment, pull down your pants, and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on, and uh... I hope that you folks are already at your destination or where you need to be or if you're not going anywhere, if you're staying home, whatever your situation is, uh, yeah, it's getting, it's getting that cold. And I really didn't prepare. I totally flaked. Let's be nice this weekend. Uh, There's a lot of craziness right now. 
People aren't thinking straight. People are scared. People are frightened. People are angry, upset, and everything. Everything. They can look at an ant, and they're angry. So let's just try to forget it. Try not to overdo it with the Elky Elky. And uh, just look, just for God's sakes, just, just enjoy yourselves. Try to forget what the hell is going on out there. Turn off your TV, stop listening to all that, all that crap for, for at least a couple hours. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your family, your friends, your pets, your situation. Enjoy a day, a morning, a day, an afternoon, an evening, whatever. Just make it, make it count, really. I was at Universal Studios this time last year. I was trying to find some of my old videos. And... Not a care in the world, not, not even real, eh, barely a mention of all this crap. And we're all just buzzing around this time last year, just not realizing what was coming down the pike in a three months. It's that quickly now. I mean, this this should be a, a a reality check for us. You know, life is but a fleeting moment, and after all this, I think, and I hope that we could all appreciate. I've I, don't, I had five years being homeless to appreciate life. This just another affirmation for me. So. For you, my friends, just um, let's just do one day at a time and appreciate every moment that we have. Whether we have someone in our lives or even if we're alone, we have nothing. Don't let that get you down. Just because you have no one or nothing, just it shouldn't be a reason. Trust me. I wouldn't lie to you. I care too much. All right, my friends. <clears throat> I love you all. Stay safe. I like to use a 4th of July. Have a safe and sane Thanksgiving. And uh, I have a busy day tomorrow. I got I got a Zoom with my family, with my, family, with my daughter and, and her mother. I got to go visit friends real quick. I got to go do a couple more oh yeah I got it I got I got two more items that I got to get uh, go home cook and I have a I think uh, something to co-host tomorrow night so I gotta get everything done tomorrow and uh, I will hopefully talk to you tomorrow if not Friday morning and Friday morning Friday is gonna be a late one I work from 2 or 3 p.m. till 11 p.m. So I got to close Black Friday. So that should be uh, a lot of fun. Actually, this week and including today compared to last year, it was a lot more subdued and a lot more sane. Uh, let me show you. See this right here? All this. This time last year, even this parking lot. But all the restaurants at Chipotle and everything and all this, my friends, this time last year. There were so many cars, people walking across the street, buzzing around, and like I said, we had no idea what was, what were we going to be doing this time next year now, so, it moves that fast, so, again, be safe, be smart, be nice. I love you, bye, and have a super awesome Thanksgiving, follow the links comments good or bad if you don't want to email I don't know what's in store for me at home but we'll see all right my friends I love you all bye bye